I'm gonna have to let y'all talk to my manager. And I'm like, yeah, give me the manager. up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Naomi. if you're new here thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe to your girl so you can stay updated with all the new videos and if you're returning as always hey girl hey hey but um hey you guys welcome back to another weekly vlog um we're trying to get the vlogs going we're trying to get the vlogs going i'm about to go to walmart with my housemates and we're gonna go get some house stuff so i'm gonna bring y'all along with me just my luck this battery is dying so we gotta switch it out but i'm gonna see y'all at walmart Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.20 a.m. I hope you have a good Monday. Thanks, girl. Um, so it's 9.20. Um, I've been up for a couple hours now, did some stuff for work. Um, Momo, relax. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, you guys, so I wanna share, right? I just found this girl. So I've been looking for new people to watch because I always have my go-tos like, Elia's face, Kyra Amanique, um, Arnel Armand. Um, those are probably like the three main like lifestyle channels that I watch. And I've been looking for like more lifestyle people to watch or like more people who vlog and basically do what I do. Um, so I found this girl, her name is Mariah Kalen and she's like 19 or 20 or something one or the other like 19 or 20 and i've been obsessed with her channel like she's so cute um but yeah so <laughs> that's who i was watching earlier what do i have to do today honestly the mainly work mondays are like my really busy days at work so basically have a lot of work to do um and then um later on i have to go pick up a u-haul and then get the last of our living room furniture oh, finally i, I want to say it's the last but like i will definitely say it's the last one we have to use a u-haul for it's a couch um we have to get another couch for our other living room um our living room is really big so it's basically like two rooms in one so we have to we basically need like three couches in there speaking of um so i bought the couch for from facebook marketplace you guys and let's see i gotta tell the girl hopefully she didn't because facebook marketplace people be like selling the stuff that you agreed to buy like i had asked her about this couch last week and sometimes people like they get impatient and they just sell it to the person who's gonna pick it up sooner and i don't like that so i'm gonna ask her hey are we still on for the couch and mind you this couch is huge and it's really nice and it's barely used and guess how much we got it for a hundred dollars i was like oh yeah baby um yeah okay so we're supposed to go pick it up like around like 5 30 6 p.m ish so all oh, that's good oh she's so cute um there's this girl that usually comments like on a lot of my videos um she goes i think pink rose hey girl hey i see you um she's so cute she always comments um under my picture uh, under my videos and she was like you're such a beautiful bright shining light i love your positivity and kindness thanks girl i love you love 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 uh i get so happy when people like comment positive things under my um my videos because then it's like I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I, I don't know, 
you know like like i said in my last vlog I'm, I'm over here getting all like bashful and shit but like like i said in my last vlog like when i feel positive i like to radiate positivity to other people um because i know how it feels sometimes when you're stuck in that negative space and you kind of need like a pick-me-up or something so if i could do that for somebody even with the littlest thing like that literally means the world to me so thanks girl love you you guys i'm about to go and do some work but i just want to check in i actually have to make my bed um <laughs> kind of woke up first of all 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 I never gave y'all a tour of my room because it's not done. It's really not done. Like, you're probably wondering, like, Nems, what the fuck else do you need to do? Um, a lot more, girl. Like, I need a lot of other decorations. Um, I moved my mirror, and I think I like it. I like it more, like, right here than when it was, like, right here. Because, one, right here for the mirror, I get better lighting. That matters to me that really does matter to me um and then when it was right here like the lighting was terrible like see you see how bad the lighting is right here but then when you come right here oh ah you can see everything so i moved the mirror for that reason um and then also like my desk used to be like right by my bed and i didn't like that so i had to move it to like right here in this area um i'm not gonna keep that rolling chair I'm gonna get like a regular chair at some point. I don't know when, honestly, but at some point I'm gonna get a rolling chair. Um, a regular chair, I meant. Um, kind of like a vanity chair. I'm still debating if I'm gonna keep this desk in my room or if I'm gonna move it down to the studio for uh for me to film. I'm still debating. I might wanna get like another another desk that has like drawers for the window. Um, not for the window, child, for the studio. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna keep this desk up here and I'm gonna move that rolling chair to the studio and then get like a regular non-rolling chair for up here. Um, I also have my little bookshelf situation with like my um, my shoes and my purses like, you know, all on display and stuff. Um, I wanna paint that bookshelf white because as you can see, all of my furniture is white and it has a hint of like cream and gold because <clears throat> i told y'all before i love those colors like that cream color that gold color um i'm thinking of incorporating black into my aesthetic but i don't think it's gonna work out <clears throat> so i might just have to do brown because like the floors are brown and then all my furniture and my bedding is white so i might have to get like brown brown um throw pillows and brown throw blankets and stuff like that to just incorporate it in there but i'm definitely painting that shit because i got it and i was like oh no it's gonna work it's gonna work out it's gonna work out you're gonna i'm forcing myself to like it basically and i hate it i hate the color so i'm gonna paint this bookshelf white mark my words um because i'm telling you this dresser when i first got this dresser it was blue do you see blue in my color scheme? No. So I went and I painted it white. Hello? I'm really like, listen, if you if I could do it, I'm a DIY it. Okay. But regardless, um, I'm not gonna give y'all a tour until I am done decorating. First of all, I need to at least actually put a maintenance. You see this? You see what Chai started doing to my blinds? Do you see? Like, she's literally a menace, bro. Look at my blinds. Th th that's crazy. So, I need to put, like, a... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. Back up. Um, yeah, I need to put a maintenance order in with my landlord so that he can come, um, or so that the maintenance people can come and give me new blinds. Um, these blinds were originally like broken when I first moved in and they came in and put in like these new blinds. And they're the type of blinds that like, they don't have the string. So you just like pull it up and then just, you know, pull it down when you want to, when you want to like, you know, lift it and stuff. I don't like the little string because one, I have a cat and she likes to play with strings too much entirely too much so 
I'm gonna try to have them replace both of those blinds to like those types of blinds. Hopefully they can do that. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I've been rambling for the past 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let y'all go and I'm gonna check back in with y'all. You know drill when I'm doing something vloggable. First of all, oh wait, hold up, hold up. You guys, this morning I did me a little face mask. First of all, I feel like life has been so busy that I've been neglecting my self-care. And for me, self-care is like body care, skin care, um, meditation, candles. Oh, I forgot to show y'all the candles that I got from Walmart. Oh yeah, damn. I didn't even vlog after Walmart. Um the Walmart trip was like very much for us to get stuff for the house. It really wasn't like for anything like for personal stuff. So we ended up getting like, uh, we ended up getting bathroom garbage and then we got a blender and we got a knife set. So that's really what we went into Walmart for. The other stuff was just that we got just because but let me show y'all what i got um the only things that i got from walmart for myself oh and i had to get chai a temporary litter box because first of all amazon amazon me and you got beef we got beef and it's crazy because we never have beef we be chilling amazon like we'd be good friends like i don't understand but lately you've been i don't like the, the way you've been moving i don't so let me tell y'all first of all prime don't be priming why is it taking me taking y'all four days to send me four plus days to send me my package when i have prime why that's one two we ordered chai a new litter box because she's growing out of her old one it's too small for her and plus we didn't like that litter box so we wanted to get rid of it and get her a new one a hooded one at that so we, we're all excited opening up the litter box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go team. Yeah. Opens the box and the litter box is broken. Uh, uh, uh. Amazon, what the hell? And then we go to return the litter box and, and you know, order a replacement. And this was Friday. If you have Prime... The package should be here at least on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have Prime, you know. The latest it should get there is Sunday if we ordered it on Friday, right? So, why is the package coming on Thursday? On Thursday. So, we hated the other litter box, so we threw it out and we got a temporary <clears throat> non-fancy, like, kind of like tray. It was like $4 at Walmart. Um, and put litter in there and then in the meantime, for the next couple of days, Chai is gonna have to use that litter box but that's basically what happened and I hate it for Chai I really do because we were so excited to get her a new litter like so excited for her and it just didn't work out it did not work out and it's so big the litter box is huge um that's another problem, but that's a problem for another day. But let me show y'all what I got from Walmart. I got these candles. Um, first of all, this one had a top, but when I was checking out, it fell and broke. And I was like, damn, fuck. So yeah, I got these candles. This is this says refresh, and it has lemon zest, bergamot, and sage in it. And it's it's a coconut wax blend. And then this one says it's um, serene and it has Palo Santo, sage, and incense. And it is a coconut wax blend as well. So I got these two from Walmart. This smells so good. It's so, so good. But yeah, these are from my room. So I put one on my dresser and one um, on my nightstand. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I love, love, love to smell good. I love to smell good, and I like the place that I'm in to smell good as well. Um, I have a plug-in. I have a wax melter. I used to have a, um, what's it called? A diffuser, but I put it in the, sh in the bathroom because I felt like it worked better in the bathroom anyway, and plus I have like hella things that smell good. Um, but yeah, I have the, I have my Febreze room spray. Like I have, listen, when it comes to, to me smelling good and my space smelling good, I don't play about that shit. So yeah. All I have to say, I got some wax melts. 
Um, I got this one, which is amber and rose. Oop, focus, baby, focus. Yeah. So this is amber and rose. And then I got this one, which is soft cashmere. And then I got this one, which is honeysuckle and pineapple. So those are... Babes. But yeah, so those are basically the things that I got from Walmart for myself. Um, by the way, you guys, my bottle that I got from Target still going strong. Um, it's been serving me very well, and I've been keeping up with my water intake. Um, I'm not going to say like I've been perfect with my water intake, but I've been better with it. So I'm trying to get even better. So hopefully, yeah. But yeah, y'all. So you see how this candle is black? And y'all know what I was talking about, like incorporating black into my room. Like, look at this, right? You see? I don't know, like, what is it giving? What is it giving? Like, if I go and incorporate black, like, I obviously would have to, like, maybe get rid of this, get a black vase. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this lamp right here, to be honest. I might move it downstairs. Um, I don't want it on my nightstand anymore. I feel like it's too big. So I might move this lamp downstairs. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I was thinking like, you know, little splashes of black. What y'all think? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Because I don't know what to do. And I'm honestly not in a rush. So, you know, you guys can let me know. And I guess as the days go by. Because I definitely want to get a big vase in here. And put it right by my mirror. Like, I want a big vase with pampas. Pampas? Pam pampas? Pam pam Y'all know what I'm talking about. The dry, um, the dry plants that y'all see everywhere. I want to get a big vase and put it right next to my mirror and put, like, tall pampas on it. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Give me some suggestions. Um, but yeah, we're all in this together, babes. Yeah. regardless let me get off this camera because i got work to do um i'm gonna see y'all later bye okay you guys it's a couple hours later i'm back um damn wait no i have a, i have a meeting at 2 30 and it's 1 1 23 now so um i'm about okay so y'all i'm really excited ask me why why are you excited Naomi? Our shower caddies came. I know, I feel like that's something that's just so like minimal to be excited about, but like I said, my version of self care is like skincare, body care, home organization. I just like to organize. I don't know what it is. Like it just, it just brings me some type of joy. Anyways, it came and I'm about to install them. Um, I literally love this moment this moment <laughs> yo what so yeah we're about to install this shit because i'm just really excited you guys i don't know what's like what's the addiction for me but i'm just excited hello okay. nobody's in here so we're gonna like damn i don't even know how i would set y'all up bro i'm gonna need the other tripod
what's up you guys it's the next day it's the next day we're about to go to starbucks um i it's what time is it alexa what time is it it's 11 19 a.m okay it's 11 19 um so i recently i just went came back from a dis, dentist appointment oh my mouth feels a little weird i don't know um but uh i just came back from a dentist appointment and um i wanted starbucks and i wanted to bring y'all with me but like i forgot my camera <laughs> like what sense does that make like i just dead forgot my camera so i was like you know what i'm gonna come back and um make sure that everything is good with work and then i'm gonna go out come grab the camera go out and um get starbucks because the dentist was literally like five minutes away and this is a new dentist and i like him so far so you know everything's good on that um, this is what this is what i'm wearing um I'm also doing laundry, so that's why my laundry basket is in the back. But um, I'm wearing this top I got from, where did I get this top from? From Fashion Nova. And I'm wearing these shorts from um, American Eagle. Honestly, like, they are ripped literally everywhere. But, like, that's the vibe. And they're really comfortable. Like, they're not, like, super tight on me. Like, I've come to realize that, like, I'm growing out of, like not that i'm growing out like i'll never wear this but like i'm growing out of wearing tight things all the time like it's not it's not giving it's not giving back like i, I need to be free i love me a good loose fitting clo clothing item or a um a freaking something that's like you know comfortable and shit. so yeah i'm rambling let's go What's up, you guys? We back in the core. Per. Look, I'm not even on. Girl, put it on. Like, damn. But we back in the car. Um, Is this soon then? Ah, the car's hot. Yo, it's hot as hell outside. It is hot. It's hot. Uh, it's so damn hot. Where are the tunes? Let me stop. Um, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Like, it's hot. It don't need to be this hot for real. But you know what? I'm grateful. I'm not going to complain because let me tell you. One thing about me. <laughs> baby, I'm dreading winter. I'm dreading it. I'm telling you, I am dreading winter like it's the plague. Like, I want to avoid it at all costs. Like, I'm. Girl. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like it. Like, I'm telling you, I'm destined to be living somewhere that, like, that is just warm all year round. That's where I'm destined to be living. Guys, we made it to Starbies. <laughs> Chill. But um nah, dead ass. We made it to Starbucks. <gasps> I still don't know what I'm getting. Oh, I stopped my thing. Yo, I was on this kick where I was like just coming to Starbucks to try new drinks that I would see like on TikTok or like on social media, wherever. Um, and I didn't uh I didn't prepare one today. Darn. Maybe I'll just try something new on the menu. Let's see. Hi. Um. One second, please. Um. No problem. 
they got like all these new like um summer essentials drinks chocolate cream cold brew do i want coffee or do i want like a drink or do i want matcha you know it's always a good day for matcha i can't i can't lie it's always a good day for matcha um what do i want damn I definitely want a chocolate croissant. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a matcha and a chocolate croissant. Hi, can I have a grande um, iced matcha latte? Um, can I have that with oat milk? And can I have the um, cold foam? And can you mix um, strawberry puree in the cold foam as well? Um, can I also have a chocolate croissant? Yeah, you guys, the Starbucks is crazy. To be charging a dollar and 25 cents for some cold foam, which is technically, I'm pretty sure is just some frothed milk. Like, y'all are crazy. Mm. But get your coins, girl, because people like me are, bu are buying. So, I don't know. But y'all are crazy. Sorry. I have my Starbucks um app. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so seriously though, <laughs> this chocolate croissant. Who's calling me? Girl, please. It's the way I couldn't help myself. I'm about to take a bite right here, right now. I didn't even get my drink yet. It's so good. Try it. Chocolate croissant warmed. Let me put you on. Yo, my hands are so dry. I used to have lotion in here. But it's not in here. Oh, it's the people, they're probably looking at me like, this girl, what the hell is she doing with this camera? But to take this long to make my matcha latte and it's not even busy for real, that's crazy. <laughs> Girl. Anywho. Damn, does it really take this long? Usually? Can I have a straw, please? Thanks. Okay. After hours of waiting for my drink, I finally got it. Um, you know, I have to situate myself now again so that I can drive. I put my, I have to put my address back in, you guys. That's a gag. Mm. Mm. This one is really good, but like it's more milk than matcha. Like, I like it, but it's like, where's the matcha? <laughs> Starbucks, count your days. Count your fucking days. Okay? Because there's no reason why my matcha tastes like milk. Uh, just milk? <sighs> Let me stop lying. But, like, it tastes a little bit like matcha, but it's, like, it's not as strong as usual. Regardless, as y'all can see, I st I'm still fucking it up. It don't matter. But you see, like, it's barely even green. Like, they barely put any matcha in there. Like, count your days. 
Count your days, Starbucks. Count your days. Like, y'all literally gave me milk, hold the matcha. Crazy. No wonder it was taking so damn long. Y'all ain't know how to make it. That's probably why. Y'all was trying to figure it out. Ugh. And that's crazy because I used to go to that Starbucks all the time. And, you know, now it's like I, I, I don't have a trusted relationship no more with y'all. Like, now I can't really depend on y'all. You know, I'm always going to be on the edge if I ever go there again. Like, oh, what if my drink doesn't turn out good this time? Do you understand how that feels? Uh, anyways, but I'm just saying though, um, that's serious. Put some more matcha in that shit. Um, Baby, and if you claim you know me so well, give me my love language. Well, I mean, Is that asking for too much? Love me and I love you better. I think that's what she said. I'm not sure. Come on here and say, Jersey, what is going on? What's happening? It is hot as hell, bro. Why is it so damn hot? Why is it so hot? I have two fans going. Oh my gosh, I need to buy myself an AC unit. I need to buy a, a, a freaking window unit. I thought I could do it because I like the heat, but like, seriously? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. What's up, you guys? It's the next day. Um, I am in my room. It's like early in the, it's early in the day. It's 10.56. I've been up since like 7 a.m. Um, but I'm about to, I have some free time, honestly. I don't have anything to do for work. Um, so I'm going to take this opportunity to do some goal setting and some manifestations um, as well as um, manifestations, affirmations, all of that good stuff because I feel like I haven't been, I haven't been doing that lately. Um, also gratitude as well. Um, I haven't been doing that lately and I feel like I kind of need to reset you know reset my whole life so that's what I'm gonna do if I don't do it now I won't do it or when I finally decide to do it it'll be like super duper late but not Yeah, y'all so i'm really excited right now and it's like when i tell y'all what i'm excited about y'all probably finna be like girl like are you serious yes i'm so serious so we've been in this house for like a month and a half and we had no dish rack so the dish rack finally got delivered because we wanted a nice one and it finally got delivered. So, I got this dish rack from Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below if y'all are interested in that kind of stuff. But, like I said, this is the type of stuff that makes me happy. So, you know, there's that. I'm gonna build this dish rack for real because, <laughs> baby, when I tell you I'm tired of not having one, it's so ghetto. It's the most like the ghettoest thing i've ever experienced in my life 
and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I'm exaggerating, but like, <laughs> seriously though, who has time? Seriously, who has time? Okay, this is, I feel like I'm pretty like, it's really straightforward when it comes to like certain stuff. Like when it comes to building certain things, like I feel like I've built so many things that a lot of the things that I see or a lot of the tools that I have or the screws and stuff, like no, exp no explanation needed. Well, these instructions like it's not it's not as straightforward as y'all think it is for real because what the hell do miss the corner store. Ooh, they you got ever taste this? Plantain chips? Yeah. Garlic flavored. No, I've never had that. I'm gonna try it. I don't know how I feel about the garlic flavored. I always get the lightly salted or like the regular salted plantain chips. This? Mm -hmm. Um, I really want one week. The, the peach orchard. Peach you never had it? No, I think I have. It's so This is what she's talking about, y'all. That peach orchard one, it's like a lip smacker for This real. is what you make your drinks with. <laughs> <laughs> Donna the bartender. Yes. Uh, okay, what are we here for? The empanadas, that's what we're okay. here for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me go ask them. Excuse me, do you have empanadas? Huh? Saturday? Donna, they don't got empanadas. Oh no. I'm so ghetto for that. I'm so hurt, y'all. Y'all don't understand because I've been craving these empanadas for the past two days, and I came here thinking I'm gonna get me a beef and cheese empanada, and here I am, no empanada. If you know, you know about these. If you know about these little burger um, candies and shit, these are it. These be bomb. But they never used to come like this in like a whole pack. Since when did they ever come like this? Do you remember? Never. Like these little burger thingies? Like I swear they used to come like in one package. They never but now they got a whole pack. Another hood favorite. If you know, you know. No, seriously. If you know, you know. Eleven, eleven, make a wish. Can y'all even hear me for real? Oh, jeez. My car is so dirty, you guys. Like, it's not even funny. But what's up, you guys? It's the next day. What's goody? Um, your girl is about to go to Home Depot and then me and my line sister are gonna go to Starbucks because <laughs> we love Starbucks um but yeah I'm waiting for my line sister to come out and um yeah but let me tell y'all this story girl let me tell y'all how Home Depot try to play me 
first of all i ordered my air conditioner last night around like i want to say 11 p.m and they had like an option where you can get like a professional to um what's it called to install your ac so this morning i'm trying to contact the professional and it was like oh they're not available and all this extra shit right so then i'm like okay so i call home depot and i'm like hey like the person y'all referred me to, um to it's saying that I'm, I no longer have access to talk to them in like the little chat box thingy or whatever. So I'm telling them this, right? And this man is basically telling me that I'm shit out of luck and that they can't do anything about it. So I'm like, first of all, sir, like you're, I, I'm confused. Like how, how can y'all not do anything about it when y'all offer the service? So then he was explaining that it's like, um, they work like I guess like it's a contract where they have like contracts with like local professionals or whatever so then I'm like okay that's cool but like y'all can contact them right because the reason I'm calling is because I can't get in contact with them so I need to go through y'all to get in contact with them so he's still sitting here telling me that I'm SOL so I'm like okay now you get me heated exact words by the way because <laughs> I was so mad because I'm like bro now you get me heated so I'm over here like telling him like da 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 like y'all need to make sure to get my air conditioner like installed and ex and all this extra stuff because y'all like Jersey has been having a heat wave for the past how many days has it been it's been this like high? three days yes for the past three days it's, it's been 90 like 90 plus. and above and it's been like baking in my room and I'm, a, I'm the only one in the house who doesn't have an air conditioner in their room because uh, I like the heat. So I was like, I don't need an air conditioner. <laughs> Little did I know. Um, so yeah, so basically he's telling me I'm, I'm SOL and then I was getting mad on the phone and he was like, I'm gonna let you, ha I'm gonna have to let y'all talk to my manager. And I'm like, yeah, give me the manager. Pass me the manager right now. So then I talked to the manager and the manager was like, I explained to him what happened and he was like, oh, no problem. Like, we'll just put you back on the list and um, like, we'll um, have another professional reach out to you. So I'm like, it could have been that simple, but that first guy really had me heated. Why you had to get me heated like that, Joseph? Come on. Oh, I was so mad this morning. I'm like, it's 8 a.m. I don't have time to deal with this, but yeah but anyways we're on our way to home depot and then after that we're gonna go to um starbucks i was gonna say target <laughs> hello addiction um but yeah we're gonna go to starbucks and then yeah those are the errands for today y'all i'm at home depot I'm at customer service because I did like a pickup order type thing. Um, but yeah. So hopefully somebody can help me out ASAP, no Rocky, because I want to go back home. Is she open? Okay, thank you. I'm picking up an order, um, an air conditioner I ordered. Uh, yes. Yes, it is WP. Like, yo, that guy really put a sour taste in my mouth about Home Depot today. Like, I usually have no issues with Home Depot. Okay, thank you. No problem. You have a good day. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. <laughs> you have a good day. Oh, I love when people are so nice. Better run up on you. I was gonna say, hold on. Nah, he was trying to help me out. But, um, thanks, buddy. Yeah, bro, look at this shit. 
Ask me where. Where's it? I don't know. Ask Yo, Donna's Donna's fucking belly button piercings are always falling time. out, bro. I don't know how. I literally looked down texting. I was like, okay, let me look at my piercings. Gone. Just this bottom one. Cool. Mind you, I had already like I took both of these out and I had to push them back in myself. Your was the hole closing? In in a matter I only took it out so I can shave my stomach. And literally this happened. Yeah, maybe it wasn't tight enough when you put it back. I made sure I tightened that shit. This is the Excuse concept me. of the photo shoot that the girl has to do. She looks like Megan. Alrighty, we're about to head to Starbies and um, I guess we'll see you there. Bye. Look at Monet, y'all. She is bald. I sprayed her with pesticide spray. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Look at Monet. Monet is bald. Listen. Monet not. is bald. She has this protected leaf. She'll be okay. She has her new pot and everything. We're working, right? Sure. Uh, she's gonna be okay. What is this? Plant food. And I have my other plants. That was dead. Donna's a plant mom for real. I'm trying to be. Like, look right. at this other plant. She is just invested. I'm trying to be like her and get me a plant. You should. Get a succulent too. I want to get a money tree. Oh, yes. Yeah, abundance. <laughs> What is, this? what does this do? That's a filter to filter out the water and drain it. Oh. So the plant is still healthy, which is good. Um, I just am trying to take out like some of the soil so I can give it new soil. But um, yeah, still pretty healthy. Hi. New plant. Tell them how you've been. You've been in heat. And how you've been pissing us off because you want to be rubbed on all day. Tell them. Tell the people. Tell the people. What's up, you guys? I'm back home. And I didn't get to show y'all last night because I was so excited to set it up. But we got our baby. A new litter box, girl. Like, she got her new litter box. And I'm so excited. I feel like I'm more excited than her because she hasn't even used it yet. And it's been up for a good 12 hours. Like when are you going to go to the bathroom like all of a sudden you're constipated like girl but anyways this is what it looks like this is what it looks like it's like a little dome a little igloo situation i wonder if she used it yet oh she did she did use it but she went she went number one not number two so I can't wait until she starts using it. But it has a little walkway. We got it from Amazon. So I'm gonna link it down below so that y'all can get it too if y'all have a little fur baby. But I wanted to get her a hooded litter box because one, she grew out of the other one. Like she's too big for the other one that we used to have. And then I also didn't like the other one we used to have because that one only took like the litter pellets and I don't like the pellets. So when we use like the regular litter, and stuff um it would like literally it had holes and then another compartment and it would literally like um what's the word it would literally like seep through underneath so even when she would like you know <clears throat> go number one the the number one would seep down even after like cleaning it and stuff and it just it wasn't it wasn't good like it, it used to smell really bad <laughs> and it was annoying to clean so um and then also it didn't have a hood and i was tired of seeing her go to the bathroom so openly like she needed her privacy and i needed her to have privacy because girl nobody want to see you go to the bathroom okay so um we got her this litter box from amazon yeah our baby got a new litter box and i'm so happy for her and i'm happy for us because the way her litter box was stinking up the downstairs bathroom. I still need somebody to install this AC for me. Like, I really need somebody to install this AC unit. Like, it's still in the back of my car, and I went next to my next door neighbors, and nobody got a power drill. Nobody knows how to install AC, but everybody got an AC in their window. 
the math is not mathing. It's not making sense. Like somebody, please come install this shit because Home Depot has failed me. Let's not even talk about that because I'm still annoyed. Your girl gotta go back to the car and get the freaking AC out the out of the car. And I'm trying to see if I could install this shit myself because this is why you this is why you can't depend on people. This is why you can't depend on people and you just have to do shit yourself. Because people are not reliable. At Home Depot. First of all, the guy that helped me with the with getting this in my trunk, I need him to get, to help me get it in my room because this shit is heavy. This shit is huge. It's huge and heavy. Like, how am I going to do this? Seriously? Ow. I don't know how I'm going to do this, you guys. Jeez. Maybe I'll have to carry it like this. Is this? Yeah. That's what it's giving. I'm gonna have to carry it like that. What's up you guys? It's the next day. Um, we're about to head out. Um, I need to go to Sally's to get me um some hair products because I'm taking this hair out and I'm washing my hair today. It's been <sighs> long overdue and i need to get it done because tomorrow i have to be somewhere for a photo shoot so i need my hair to look presentable so um but first we're gonna go to mcdonald's because girl tell me why i woke up this morning craving a mcdonald's hash brown like it's not needed but like it's wanted like you know like i just woke up wanting a mcdonald's hash brown and i'm like i haven't had their breakfast in so long um but i remember the only thing i really liked was the hash browns and i think the hot cakes maybe i don't know but i definitely want to get some hash browns so i'm about to go there as well um let me grab my keys um i'm gonna show y'all what i'm wearing i woke up and my voice sounded like <clears throat> A little strained like I don't know what it is but regardless I'll show you so this is what I'm wearing um y'all seen this hat before um I got this hat from misguided actually like maybe a year ago um I'm just wearing this graphic tee um these biker shorts and my Burks and then my black misguided bag um but yeah that's that's it it's really nothing like it's it's nothing honestly like it's just regular clothes y'all like i'm just going to run some errands like for real yo i really need to buy some new airpods like the regular buds or whatever because i just you girl has been struggling but anyways let's go to mcdonald's because it's 10 35 and i'm pretty sure that breakfast ends at 10 30 um no 11 30 and i have to go get gas so yeah let me head out so that i can make it there on time you guys i've been at this gas station for a good like two minutes now and i don't see anybody damn my hands are so dry Oh, there he is. Okay. Because I'm like, I didn't see no one. I really thought there was no one here. I'm over here looking around like, uh, hello. It's a lot of waiting this week. Yo, I can't wait to get this um, McDonald's hash brown. And I kind of want to go to Starbucks and get a shaken espresso, but... You know, I think that maybe I should relax off Starbucks a little bit. <laughs> like, girl, why are you there like five times a week? Hi, can I have 40 regular, please? 40? Yes. Hey right, guys, I'm back home from Sally's. Um, I got my hash browns and I just ate them on the way to Sally's. I was picking them up like, girl, I got me two of them. 
Um, and baby, they had no chance. They had no chance of surviving. Mm -mm -mm. But at least I satisfied my craving because I really woke up and like I'm learning to like not restrict myself. Like, I don't know, like, like don't go crazy, but also don't deny myself of the things that I want. I feel like personally, even though like that's not the healthiest thing I could eat, but it's like, that's not the worst either. So, oh well. So I went to Sally's and first of all, I didn't vlog in there because the music was mad loud. Um, and then I didn't have a basket and I had all these products in my hands and it just wasn't going to work out. So <laughs> no. So yeah, so I got this cream of nature, um, argan oil, moisture and shine shampoo and it's sulfate free. This is my favorite shampoo. I never deviate from this shampoo. Like I'm so serious. I haven't, I haven't tried another shampoo in probably like two, three years. I've been really using the, only this shampoo and that's because like my hair gets tangled very, very easily, very easily. And, um, this really helps and it doesn't strip my hair of its natural oils. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like it doesn't make my, my, my hair have that rubbery feeling like it cleanses, but it also moisturizes. And that's what I like for my hair. So until I find something that could beat that. This is it for me. This is it for me. Okay, so the other thing I got is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I haven't used this in probably like two years. Um, and the last time I used it, I remember my curls were really like elongated. Like it, they were just very, instead of like it um, shrinking, I guess, the way it usually does, it just made my, my curls more um, elongated. So I like that feeling. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use this today. Um, okay, and then I also got the Texture ID Deep tri Treatment Mask. And let me tell you, just like the shampoo, this is another oldie but a goodie. And then I got the As I Am Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Grow Yogurt. I don't know what it is, but every time I go to Sally's, this leave-in conditioner is extremely reduced in price. Like, this one was $5.69. Like, it's usually in the 10s or 14, like 10 to $14, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wondering, like, what is the issue? Like, what is the issue? Like, are they trying to get rid of this line? Because this is really good. <laughs> like, I hope they're not trying to get rid of it. I mean, I'm I'm not complaining about the price, honestly, because I like this product. Um, it's the As I Am Long and Lux Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Grow Yogurt. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah. So basically, it's just like... I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. And it's a leave-in conditioner. So I'm like, <laughs> baby, I don't know what the issue is. Like, why do y'all keep producing? But then at the same time, it's like, I'm not really going to complain much. So I'm going a, I'm to a shut my fat ass up. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm going to shut my ass up. I'm going to shut my ass up. So, yeah. I'm going to wash my hair in a, probably a couple hours. I'm going to do some stuff for work right now. And then I'm going to wash my hair. Um... I need to deeply moisturize my hair. Not moisturize, but um, deep condition my hair. Cause before I put these braids in, I didn't really do like a proper deep conditioning treatment because I didn't have time. So yeah, so maybe I, I'm gonna start taking out my hair and then later on wash it. But yeah, what's up you guys? You guys finally took those braids out, child. It was time. It was time to take the braids out. My hair, this is my hair like stretched out and it's literally like a big ass like mane. I don't even feel like the camera's not even doing it justice for real. Like this shit is <laughs> big as hell. But um, let me see. Let me show you. Like. This shit is crazy like it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy 
but um i'm really happy because my hair is growing Ooh, girl pick up damn anyways but yeah y'all i'm really happy because my hair is actually growing um i see the growth at least for myself because i ended up cutting my hair a couple months ago myself and it's really not like you know um i did my best i'm not a professional but i mean I, I wanted to cut my hair in that moment so i ended up cutting it yeah so yes um i'm actually about to um do an aztec clay mask that's what i got on camera um so y'all finna come with me to make this mask per <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, we're done making our mask. This is how much I made. You really just have to make however much you feel like is gonna coat your hair. I have a lot of hair, so I made a lot of masks. Um, my hair, I feel like I haven't done one of these masks in so long. Mm. I need some scrunchies. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I need to get some clips. So what you're gonna need is some clips. Um, your Aztec clay mask, as y'all saw in the previous clip. Um, apple cider vinegar. Um, the brand that I showed y'all is the brand that I always use. So I don't know um, if you have another brand. I think that's fine. Like I don't think it matters what brand apple cider vinegar you use um and then yeah you're gonna need a plastic bowl and a plastic like mixer spoon whatever the hell you want to call it um whatever you have honestly and apparently i don't know why but they say you're not supposed to mix this mask in metal or like ceramic um i know metal for sure i'm not really too sure about ceramic but i always been mixing it in plastic because that's what they recommend so yeah um we're gonna start off with sectioning our hair into two sides so you're not supposed to leave this mask on for too long um me i tend to go overboard with masks like whatever they say like i never follow the directions but honestly, this is not the mask to do that with. So I'm going to follow directions with this one, especially since like I'm going to deep condition after this as well. So there's that. But um, you're going to want to make sure to detangle your hair. I don't ever detangle my hair with any tools, you guys. Um, I always use my hands. And just kind of rake my hands through, separate my hair, all of that. Um, I don't like using tools because one, my hair is dry right now. Um, and then when I use tools, it's just, it just becomes too much. Too much. So, yeah. Um, you're really just going to apply this mask like you would any regular um, like deep conditioner or mask or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to put on a show or maybe like a YouTube video or something um, and get to and get to it. Change your scene and wanna be the one on my team. 
See what's the point in waiting anymore Cause girl I've never been more sure The baby is you This ring here represents my heart And everything that you've been waiting for Just say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You can be my baby Alright you guys, I'm basically done. Um, so it turns out I made this thing stretch as best as I could because once you put it in your hair, like it's really hard to like run your fingers through your hair. So that's why I'm, you have to detangle before you do this mask. I didn't, I didn't really detangle my hair that well when I first started um, applying it. Um, but definitely make sure that you're detangling and then some people like to add like oil like hair oil into their mask I just forgot to add some oil, but Regardless, it's gonna be fine because I'm gonna deep condition anyway and the deep conditioner I'm using has protein in it like lightly lightly has protein So I should be fine, but I had to make the stretch Um, there's a part of my hair that doesn't really have like a lot of mask in it like up here um so, yeah, we did the best because as y'all saw, I used that the rest of the Aztec mask I had. And like I said, um, if you have really thick hair, you're going to need a lot of this mask. A lot, a lot. So, yeah, be prepared, girl, if you in the thick category. Anyways, I'm going to leave this on for another, like, 10 minutes because it's already been in my hair for a good, like, five. Um... So I'm going to leave my hair in this for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to hop in a shower, wash my hair, and then put in my deep conditioner. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to continue on with our wash and go. But this is what we have so far. Yeah. What's up, you guys? It is Saturday. As you can see, your girl is done with her hair. Um, I didn't show y'all on camera because it's literally the same thing that I do all the time. And if you don't know what it is, go check out my wash and go video. Um, exact same methods. So, yeah. Anyways, so it's Saturday. It's um, 11.30 something or something like that. Um, I'm about to leave to go. Actually, did I tell y'all before what I was doing today? I'm gonna catch y'all up in the car. Regardless, I'm about to leave because um, I have somewhere to be. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm doing in the car because I'm kind of in a rush and I need to be there on time. Um, let me grab an extra camera battery. I'm so excited. So, um, I'm wearing this um, white crop top. Um, it's really, I got this, it, it's a two-piece set, but I'm not wearing the skirt right now because I didn't want to wear a skirt. Um, so I'm wearing this crop top. It's from Shein, I believe. Um, I'm wearing these wide-legged pants. I just wanted something comfortable. Um, these are from Misguided, I think. And then I just have this little satchel because I have a sweater in here and um, perfume. You know, like extra stuff that wouldn't fit in a regular little purse. Um, so I have that in there. And um, I have my shades from Amazon, my Versace dupes. And uh, that's it. Um, I'm not wearing a lot of jewelry today because of what I'm about to do. So, they don't wear any jewelry. Oh, I, ha I have these sandals on. These are sandals I have on. I think I got these from TJ Maxx, like, where did I get these from? Yeah, I think I got these from TJ Maxx last summer. By the way, you guys, the perfume I'm wearing is my Valentino perfume. I got this from Sephora um, a couple months ago, and yeah, I'm going to link it in the, in the description box. And then I layered it with... Um, the perfume that I got, well, the body mist that I got from Target. Um, this smells really good, y'all. Like, it really smells good. Um, I don't just, I don't wear body mist by themselves when I'm going outside. Um, only, like, if I'm going to bed or something like that. So, it's good to, like, I like to layer it on. 
if that makes sense. But yeah, let me get going, child. I'm. I, whenever I get on this camera, I just be rambling. Let's go. I am currently on my way. Um, so basically, what I'm at doing, the next stop sign, turn left. Thanks. Why the hell is this so loud? But um, anyways, you guys. So your girl is on her way to a photo shoot um so basically this girl is doing she has a cosmetics line and she asked me to um model for her so that's basically what i'm doing today um she does really bomb makeup i feel like i told y'all about this so i don't even think i have to explain to y'all for real but i'm gonna see y'all there hey guys i'm about to start What's up you guys? Um it's a couple later. As you can see my makeup is already done. Well, almost done. Um but this is what we're looking at so far. These lips are personally not my style because y'all know I like me a little dark brown liner. But, you know, creative, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I like the way she lined my lips. Yeah, I like that. I like the way she lined my lips. They did not, like, she didn't lose the shape of my lips. Mm. 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 Let me stop. But my hair looking crazy because I had to put it back so that it wasn't in my face while she was doing the makeup. So, yeah. What's up, you guys? Um, I am walking. So, I don't know if I told y'all where I am, but I'm in Philly and your girl is walking to go get some food she finished my makeup um but yeah she finished my makeup it looked cute um but the photo shoot isn't until like later she has to do some other girls um makeup as well so i took this opportunity to get me some food because baby one thing about me i'm gonna eat okay <laughs> i'm gonna eat but i had to put this shit in the directions because one thing about philly Ain't no parking around Philly. And I was not about to move my car where it was at because I found a perfect parking spot. So I'm taking my ass and just walking around the city. And plus it's really nice out. So there's that. Take a left on Walnut Street. Then in 450 feet. My ass literally got this. I don't even know where I am. Oh, it's like a little strip. Wait, no. Okay, it's gonna take a take a left. So I'm going to Canes. Am I the only one who never had Canes? Huh? Oh shit, it's right here. Okay, I'm going to Canes, you guys. Am I the only one who's never had Canes? Comment down below. Like, have you ever had Canes before? That's what it looks like. Oh, there's a Chipotle too. 
a Chipotle king. All I know is, I hope this is good. Hey you guys, um, I hope y'all can hear me, but I'm sitting outside eating, um, I got my food, let me show y'all what it looked like. This is it. I've never had their food before, so I hope it tastes good. Um, they gave me coleslaw. I don't like everybody else, everybody's coleslaw. I hope y'all can hear me. Their coleslaw's not bad. Do y'all like coleslaw? Let me know, because there's a heated debate about coleslaw whenever it's brought up. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand what the beef is. Their coleslaw is not bad. They have a um a special sauce. It's called cane sauce. I hope it is good. Cause y'all know. Well, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm not a sauce girl, so. Even know. Cane sauce is good as hell. I don't know why. I could have sent my ass inside and ate, but I, I just wanted to be out outside. I feel like I don't really have these moments where I just have time to myself or just go out to eat by myself or something. This wind is crazy. I hope y'all heard everything I said. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this footage. Hmm. Let me try a chicken. Cause I'm over here eating the fries, but the chicken is the main, this is the main thing. I like the sauce. It's not bad. It's not the best chicken I've ever had, but it's not terrible. Mm. They also gave toast or bread, whatever this type of bread is. And I saw on the menu that you could dip the bread in the sauce. So. The bread and sauce combo, baby, that's good as hell. And I got me a half and half, half lemonade, half, half iced tea. I'm about to watch the show and eat my food and enjoy this weather. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to the photo shoot. All right, you guys, I'm about to head back to my car. Um. She sent me the address, so we're about to go. I feel like I feel like I have an idea of who this photographer is, cause I feel like Donna used them before. This address looks familiar. Yeah, this address looks familiar, and I feel like is this it is this person. But <clears throat> anyways, we finna leave, we finna head out, we finna go. Let me get out this heat before this makeup melts off my face. Um, and take my ass to the car, okay? What's up you guys? I'm at the location for the photo shoot. I hope y'all can hear me. But um, 
I'm trying to figure out how I can shoot this because the models like were in like underwear type thing situation. And yeah, I do. Where's my phone? Thank you. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog because we're kind of like half naked. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm okay with y'all seeing all that. So, you know, I'm gonna figure it out. And if there's no clips with the shoot, then y'all know what happened. Don't take me far back here. So much, so much. here um i was supposed to close it out on well yesterday but um i was busy and i didn't have my camera on me to close it out and i didn't really do anything special yesterday so um i'm closing it out today thank you guys so much for watching as always we're on our way to 300 subscribers per thanks to y'all um i love y'all always um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe to your girl so you can stay updated with all the new videos and if you're returning as always hey girl hey my camera battery's dying of course but don't forget to follow me on instagram and on tiktok at namey.xo and don't forget to subscribe and comment on this video tell me what your favorite part of this video was as always love you guys see you in the next vlog bye